that means from zero to 347 yards, we can aim dead center in that vital organs and we won't go above or we won't go below. Okay, today we're using Hornady Ford Off and I'm gonna show you how you can find the perfect place to zero your hunting rifle. Now, a lot of people, they zero their hunting rifle at 100 yards uh, and one inch above. However, a lot of people don't understand why they do this or whether there's a better way. And I'm gonna show you how you can find the best place for your rifle. First off, this is the gun profile we're running in 100 yard zero. I'm then gonna have a look at what a 100 yard zero does for me. We go down to the table at the bottom, click this, and we're gonna set the max range of the table at 500 yards, and the interval for the table is one yard. Now what I'm interested in is this left-hand column trajectory. This is telling me exactly where the bullet is every yard of my trajectory. So at the minute, we're minus 2.68 inches below, that's my height over bore, and as we increase, that distance below the line of sight decreases when we get to 100, obviously on point of aim, point of impact. As we go past, now this is what happens. The bullet actually hasn't risen above my line of sight and we're dropping immediately. From here then, we can watch as the bullet drops and as we get to say something like 300, we can see we are 11 inches below. Now this is all very bullet dependent, however, what we're looking for for the perfect zero for hunting is something that we can just aim center at the vital organs of an animal where we don't have to worry about holds and aiming off and all sorts. We can just aim center into that engine room, pull the trigger, and we'll know we will hit out to a certain distance. And I know that's what most people do. However, we can find a really efficient way by using this app. So first off, what we wanna work out is what is our target size? So the target size we're working with is 10 inches. Reason being eight to 10 inches is the average size of the vital organs for most deer you'll come across. Five inches above and five inches below. So imagine we're aiming in the center of those vital organs. So we wanna see when the bullet goes up to five inches, okay? And then we want it to come down and then we wanna find out what distance it is when it drops below five inches. We'll go back and we need to change our zero to change that table there. So if I go to 185 yards, so this is imagining I'm zeroed at 185 yards, go back to the table, same parameters. Okay, now we'll go down. And as we see, as we get to 100, this is our one inch above. It's gonna be slightly different for rifle rifle. However, as you can see, one inch above 100 yards. And the highest point we get to is 1.1 inches above at 125-ish yards. Keep going, we get to 185 where we're zeroed at, so that's zero. And now the bullet is dropping. Where does the bullet then fall below five inches? Because imagine we're aiming center at this point. At 268 yards, we are five inches below. So from zero to 268 yards, we can aim center and we will hit. We don't have to do any holds, but this isn't the best way. Go back to our zero and I'm gonna change it to something radical. Let's go 50 yards zero. Okay, now when we go back to our table, get to 50 yards, that's where we're zeroed, point of aim, point of impact. Okay, now the bullet is rising. It's going above the line of sight. That's why the numbers haven't got a minus next to them. So the highest point we get to is 1.7 inches. So we wanna see as close as we can get to five inches above. Uh, so far, we've got lots of room to play with, but does this affect our max distance? And then when we get to five inches, 283. Okay, so now we can aim center out to 283 yards, and that will still hit that vital area. But as we can see, we can do better, 34 yards. So 34 yards zero, get to 34 yards, there we go. Now we're rising, past two inches at 66 yards, three inches, four inches, we're getting higher and higher and higher, 4.9, 4.92, 4.95, 4.96, and then we're going back down again, perfect. So at 175 yards, we're at our highest bit and we're, below, we're just below that five inches, which is good. So we haven't gone over our tolerance and this is roughly a 300 yard zero, which is well, which is nice. And now we're dropping and wait until we get below five inches, which is there. So 347 yards. So that means from zero to 347 yards, we can aim dead center in that vital organs and we won't go above or we won't go below. From here then, if you were shooting further away, then you could then use your holds, which might take you out to 400 yards. Uh, or if they're really close, by all means, you could probably aim a little bit lower, but we know 
that we're not going to go out of that tolerance. So there's no thinking here, it's just point and shoot, meaning we can spend more time thinking about what the wind is doing, what our position is doing to get those clean, ethical kills. By all means, all of this will change with rifle and ammunition combinations. However, now you know how you can use Hornady Ford off to find your perfect zero.